Welcome to the My Vision Express video entitled Customizing Reports. The topics to be covered in this video include the following. Introduction, Assigning Security Access, Customizing Reports, Accessing Report Builder, Generating a Report, and more information. Topic 1, Introduction. Report customization is when you take an existing report in the report portal and make changes to the template so that you can get the specific output you're after. Topic 2, Assigning Security Access. Does everyone have access to the customization tool? The answer to that is no. Only those groups that are authorized by the My Vision Express admin have access. How do I remove or grant access? The My Vision Express admin grants groups report access. And once again, it's not by individual, it's by group. How do I prevent someone from customizing any report? Only the My Vision Express admin can prevent a user from customizing a report. This is done through group security settings, which map to reports. 2.1, the My Vision Express admin. This individual is the person appointed by the owner of the software to serve in this role. The owner must go to File, Setup Employee, and tick the Administrator checkbox to grant admin rights to that employee. Let's do that to see how that works. We're going to go to File, Setup Employee. File, Setup, Employees. Okay, and when we select an employee, we're going to look down the bottom here, and we have to make sure that this checkbox is ticked. This is what grants admin rights to that employee. 2.2, how do I log into Report Builder? Report Builder login is the same as your My Vision Express login information. So whatever you see here in the left side of the screen with your user ID, your password, and also the database name is going to go into your login for the report, the report builder. You're going to specifically enter in the username field database name colon username in the password field your password and then you're going to click OK. Customizing reports, topic number three. You can customize all reports that you see listed in the Reports Browser window. You're going to go to File, Reports, Report Portal. Your Internet Explorer browser window is going to pop up, and you're going to see a list of reports in that window. Now, you can see those reports because whatever group you're in, you've been given permission as a member of that group to see and access those reports, and hence, you can customize a report. Let's go and check that out right now. Let's go to File. Reports, Report Portal, and the window is going to pop up now with a list of reports for the user group that I'm a part of. Okay, now the way that you customize a report is you go over here next to the report listing, and there's a little button that says Copy and Customize. Okay, you can do this because you are part of the group that has access to this report. Topic number four, accessing report builder. As soon as you give your new customized report a name and click OK, the system asks you to log in, as we just talked about before, and then automatically opens the report builder. Now, if report builder is not on your machine, uh, My Vision Express will automatically download the, uh, the Express version for you. Topic 4.1, using report builder. You must work among three tabular menus in the report builder. This is what allows you to customize the report. Home, Insert, and View. Let's take a look at that right now. So we're going to go to our system, File, Reports, Report Portal. It's going to pull up our list of uh, reports. Let's go ahead and customize one. Let's customize this one here. We're going to give it a new name. We're going to click OK. It's going to put this new report in the listing, and it's going to open up the report builder. But as you're going to see, I have to log in. Okay, it's loading, and now I'm going to have to log in. I'm going to enter the database name, colon, username, and password. And as we mentioned in this, this current slide, we have Home, Insert, and View. Those are our three major tabular menus. 
the Home tab. You must click on an output field in the report template for the options in the Home tab to be active. Let's check it out right now. Let's go back here to Report Builder. Now, as I click on Home, as you can see, none of these options are available. But as soon as I click on a field, then suddenly they all become active. So once again, if I'm here, but I don't have a field selected, nothing is, I, can, I, can't click, I cannot click on anything. So if I go here to a field, then all of these options here become activated. I can change the view, put, post something to the clipboard, change the font, paragraph, border. If it's a numerical field, I can do that and also uh, do things for the layout. So once again, all these options are by field and that's how you access these options. 4.3 is the Insert tab. You must first click on the Insert tab to activate all of this tab's options. It's the same thing as the other one. Use this tab to add or improve upon the report's output. This tab lets you add the following. Parts, data regions, data visualizations, report items, sub-reports, and headers and footers. Let's check it out. So what we have to do is go up here and click on Insert. And as you can see, because I've already checked on this field here, all of these options come up. So let's say if I want to put a line in, then I can come over here and put the line in. If I want to put a rectangle in, I can choose rectangle. Okay, and that's how that works. 4.4, the View tab. Now this tab features four windows that can be displayed or hidden, and they depend upon a checkbox being checked. Let's, let's talk about how this works. So I go over here and I click on View, and I have Report Data, Grouping, Properties, and Ruler. All these must be checked for you to see them here. So Report Data is here. You have all these fields here. We're going to get into that in a moment. Grouping is down here by row and column. Properties over here on the right side. Again, and this depends upon the actual uh, field that I choose. And finally, the ruler. You have the horizontal and the vertical ruler. Okay. So we have not only the report template, but we also have report data, the grouping, properties, and ruler windows that we just talked about. Now let's go in and see what each one of these does. Topic 4.6, mandatory fields. Mandatory fields are called built-in fields, and they cannot be deleted. Let me explain this. If you go over here to your report data section, and next in the built-in fields folder, you'll see a listing of all the fields that essentially determine what this report is about. So this here, for example, is the insurance detail report, and these are all the mandatory fields that have to be there that constitute the insurance detail report. Four point seven parameters. Now parameters determine the scope of a report. Now when you query information from the database, Technically, there's an almost infinite amount of information that can be pulled up. But with a parameter, you put a limitation on the amount of information that is pulled up from the database and actually goes into the report. So let's take a look at this. Let's go into parameters. We're going to scroll down a little bit. And we see all these parameters here. Now, these determine the scope and depth of the data that is on the report. Now, for the argument's sake, we don't want to get into adding or modifying parameters in this presentation. However, if you need to delete one, just single click on it, right click on it, and you will see the delete option. But please don't do that. If you need to do that for some reason, contact customer support here at MyVision Express. 4.8, images, data sources, and data sets. The Images folder shows images you can use in your report. The Data Sources folder shows the true origin of data that goes into the report. And Data Set is the name of a collection of related data fields. For example, I'm going to show you now the Insurance Data Set. And it is defined by two fields, INS for insurance and company name. Let's go in and take a look. So we're going to go down here to Images, Data Sources, Data Sets. Click on Data Sets. And let's surf down a little bit further, and we see here the insurance data set, which is defined by INS for insurance and company name. 4.9, add or remove a column, obviously, and this is very similar to other softwares too. 
where you can go in and actually insert a column or you can remove one and it's very simple all you do is go here and click on the header of that column and you right click on it you can delete it or you can scroll down a little farther and you see insert column left to right okay that's how you do that 4.10 add or remove a field it works in very much the same way to remove you select the field to delete and right click on it and the pop-up window will appear and you can choose delete now to add what you do is you hover your mouse over the field right click and there'll be an option called expression you can select for example a new field name or there are other options also just click OK to finalize number five generating a report there are three commands that you'll need basically to generate a report number one click run number two specify the report parameters and number three click view report let's do that right now so after you go through everything in the template go to your home tab here click on run and what's going to happen is the report parameters are going to load in we want to make sure they're all complete and then we're going to click view report so once again run complete parameters click on view report and let's run this now and in a moment this uh, report should load up and show us the information and here it is so topic number six more information we have three places you can go uh, to get more information about this topic of report builder you can go to our online help file just go to my vision express click on the f1 key and you can navigate further in that help file we have a knowledge base just go to support.myvisionexpress.com and surf our knowledge base for other articles and videos and finally uh, you can visit microsoft's website technet.microsoft.com and there's more information there about both the sql server uh, software as well as report builder and finally my vision express thanks you for watching this video we hope you've enjoyed the video